Hi, this is Mike Fauché, a.k.a. PC Doc. I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of go over a um, piece of software that I've really found very useful over the last couple months. Um, it's Media Converter 7. It's actually by ArcSoft. I've been doing some comparisons on various pieces of software for conversion to my iPad and other formats. And this is one of the better ones I've seen. It's not perfect, but it certainly is one of the best ones I've seen. So kind of wanted to give an overview of it. Um, for starters, you can kind of see the, the uh, interface. It allows you to take uh, video from an actual video file, a DVD, a camera. And then, um, and of course, it lets you select the output. Um, and you have a whole bunch of formats to choose from. Uh, different phone sizes, different displays. Um, you also have some standard sizes as well. I've selected the iPad as my default because um, that's primarily what I'm using this for. Um, it does allow you to, to customize some settings so you can pick the, uh, the format you want, the aspect ratio you want. So you have some basic um, setup that you need to do. The one thing that attracted me to this in the first place is that it has hardware acceleration support for the Intel QuickSync. So, and that's really important. And you'll see um, as we go through the demo that this is, it speeds things up incredibly. So let's start with, a, you know, an initial DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, the DVD. It allows me to add and browse for a DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick Art of War. It pulls it in. It gives me the option of doing the entire disc, the main movie, or to customize it. Well, these already have all of the previews and stuff ripped out of it, so I'm just going to pick the entire content, click OK. And it brings the movie in. It tells me, it gives me an estimate of what the uh, file output size is going to be, which is traditionally too high. Uh, that tends to readjust as it goes along and it's ready to convert. Now it allows me to do multiples so I can actually go pick another one um, let's say uh, I'll go do this one and do the same thing so the moral of the story is it allows you to batch process and I've done as many as 15 at one time it does only um, based on the settings that you have it does only um, allow you to do so many at the same time so let's take a look at the um, options here and if you look at the options it tells you here how many concurrent file operations you can have and I went ahead and selected four as my default so even though I may have batched up 15 or more it'll only uh, process four at a time so basically, that's, as, that's as, as difficult as it gets. You go ahead and click Start at that point, and the process begins of the conversion. Now, the um, process is actually pretty quick. And remember, this is, trans this is actually uh, recoding um, from one format to another and adjusting the size. Um, and it basically it, it snaps along pretty quickly uh, and I'm going to show you I'm going to cut the video off for a little bit and let it finish but you'll see here shortly when the estimate comes up that this is going to take it and do it about 20 minutes now ironically it's faster to actually recode blu-ray and I'll show you that here in just a moment so for now I'm going to pause the video Okay, so let's walk through how you do a Blu-ray at this point. It's it's a little bit different than pulling in a DVD because you have to actually point down to the file. So let's go ahead and click on video. And I'm going to pick one I already have selected here. We'll do Aeon Flux. Uh, the catch is you have to go down to the M2TS file. So once you click on that, it'll actually um, import it. And as you can see, it's pretty quick in the import. Um, it'll, it'll tell you it's ready to convert and you basically hit start now again I've left all my defaults the same I'm going to the iPad I'm going to the same default folder and as you can see the, um, the converting process is already on the way now bear in mind this is a 30 plus gig um, blu-ray rip 
Um, as you can see, it's going to do the actual conversion to an iPad in about 11 and a half minutes, um, which is extremely fast. Comparatively, when I've used another program such as PathTube, it's taken you know an hour and a half to do the conversion. So as you can see, it's it's just moving along, and again, this will take it to its completion. The only catch on this on the Blu-ray is that on the DVD it will accept the folder name as the file name. On the Blu-ray, since you're pointing to a, uh, you know, a, um, a file that's kind of a default file name, it will keep that file name. So you'll have to go and rename the file before you um, dump it into your iPad or wherever you're going to do with it. But it's an extremely flexible program. I got to warn you though that some I would say 20%, 25% of the movies, uh, the Blu-rays, won't convert with this program. You'll have to use something different. But so far, you know, in, in all my daily use, I've had very good luck with it. And it is um, a pretty phenomenal program. I really like the batch processing, and I love the speed of converting Blu-rays. Anyway, that's about it for the demo. Hope you enjoyed it.